Welcome to the next tutorial of our IPG series. Uh, we'll be going over how to run IPG and make a simulation. So first you want to go into Windows, and this will only be on Windows, we won't be running a Linux version. Uh, we do recommend only using Windows as uh, it is easier, smoother, and uh, it just seems to run better in general. Okay, so we'll exit out one of these. Okay, so first what you want to do is um, create a new project. Okay, uh, that's the first thing you need to do. Go to File, Create Project, then select everything. Um, and again, we'll just choose uh, Tutorial 3. And uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so now that's, that's finished, and uh, we can just check if our current project is. Yep, it's Tutorial 3. Wonderful. Okay, so let's check our vehicle. Now this is the examples that we chose from our project. Uh, we can see them here. Uh, let's just pick um, a simple one, the uh, uh, Audi R8. Um, for the beginning, you don't. The vehicle doesn't really matter. Um, so uh, we have also have a driver. Uh, it's good to check. We don't need to change anything here because it's just preset. And um, yeah, uh, we can change these values later if we want. But uh, currently, that they're okay. What we do need to look at is actually the maneuver, because we need to add a maneuver. Um, so if we have to import project examples, okay. Um, let's just go for a basic one. Uh, let's go race driver, which is just uh, yeah simple. It goes on for 500 seconds. Okay, so let's get into uh, making our simulation run. First, we need to open up the IPG. This is the view for that. Uh, it's IPG movie. Uh, this is just the base frame of the any vehicle, and it's at the generic model. Okay, and uh, so it should just start running soon. Okay, great. And you can see here that we're running at five times real-time speed, and um, this is going very quickly. And yeah, that's that's everything there. Uh, other things you can add are uh, instruments which is uh, very cool. It actually shows the uh, speed at which uh, our vehicle is going. We'll start the simulation again. Um, shows This shows the speed and the RPM at which the speed is going. And it shows also the, how it's switching gears, which is interesting. You can actually click on gears yourself, but that won't really work. As it's been set, you can't change yourself. But you can interact with this board here. Let, uh, see here, we can actually start, stop the car and make it crash. Because um, we stopped it. Uh, instantly and it's like putting the handbrake on basically <clears throat> okay so uh, we'll start it again um, just something I find interesting if it's a very if it's going at very slow speed that won't happen um, but yeah and you can see here that this is a just car based on combustion and the ga it's using a lot of gas and just changing the clutch whenever it needs to change gear so this is a very basic model let's move on to something a bit uh, a different road and just see what happens if we change a road Stop the simulation there. Um, okay. So what happens if we say go on to a figure of eight? Yeah. So let's start that. Oh, cool. So uh, again, it's just following the path here. It's very basic. Um, this is what the race driver does. It just follows the path generally. Um, this won't work for all uh, paths. At our roads, uh, I'll show you that in a second. Before we do that, we'll also look at IPG control, which is um, basically showing a graph of every single signal as possible in um, and it, it free the car. Uh, you can see here uh, we are running the torque of the Y, Z, and X value here, um, and uh, that's on the Y axis. The X is obviously in time. Um, you can find time here, and uh, yeah, and it's going basic here. And uh, yeah, and what we could do actually is um, we can actually add our different signals live, which is very cool. Again, it gets very messy if you add too many, but it is extremely handy and extremely and very important. Uh, for analyzing any system or any values that you need for, say, your control system, uh, your motor, um, say, uh, whatever wheels you're using and how that changes things. 
Another thing to note is that you can uh, delete each of these by clicking on the graph. So you can delete them here instead of trying to look for them on the right hand side here. Uh, <clears throat> so let's try and run that simulation again. Um, it did stop after 500 seconds. Uh, and again, here's just um, the force and air in the x, y, and z axis. Say we don't want that. Say we want uh, the resistance of the aer aerodynamic resistance. Again, click this just to scale it back up. Um, what else can we have? Let's just look at the acceleration of the car in general. Again, it looks it doesn't make sense here, but like if, as long as you scale it, clicking here, um, it'll look a lot better, uh, generally. Uh, it still does look messy. And again, all you have to do is delete the signal, and you can see something that, some, that actually makes sense, and you can see how the acceleration changes as it goes in the circle, um, and how it changes from one figure to the other. And do the same thing for the X. Again, scale it up. Make it make more sense, and let's uh, scale up the Z. And yeah, uh, this is extremely important, as I've already said, and uh, essential for whatever analysis and designing you'll be doing. Um, honestly, uh, I personally don't even know all of these uh, different signals. We didn't even use half of them for our project, and it's uh, often very fun to just look at different versions and uh, see how it works. Um, on the Windows machine. Uh, I found that it works a lot better than on the Linux machine. We uh, had a lot of problems with IPG control before on the Linux, and it um, just doesn't work as smoothly, not not by half. So uh, another reason why I think you should go to Windows. So let's just go over how we can actually open up some default test runs projects, and uh, we're going to close up. Well, we will keep them open. Uh, let's just look at. Uh, we'll open a file. Uh, we don't need to. We can lose the changes for those. Uh, let's choose um, the race driver test run, which is different to um, what we've chosen. We just chose the race driver maneuver. And this will choose a different scenario for us. You can see the road's different. It'll also choose a different maneuver. Again, it's just, just a race driver maneuver. It'll also choose a different vehicle, as we can see here. And um, it's just demo car. Um, yep, yeah, and we can see here at the front wheel drive. And uh, we'll just start the simulation and see how it goes, yeah? And let's see how it looks. Wow, that looks pretty good. So this is just a test room you can run very easily, literally just clicking file and uh, oh, going to open. And uh, how I know how to do this is actually something that you can look at as well. So uh, we'll just go into the tutorial uh, PDFs, which we showed you in the pre previous uh, tutorial, um, and th these are just uh, basically manuals of how to go through everything. So uh, what we want to look at is the Quick Start Guide, and the Quick Start Guide will basically show you how to run te do test runs. So running example test runs here, you make a project folder, uh, you can click File, Open, and uh, yeah, pick your handling course or whatever course you want. So yeah, let's click Handling Course here, as it says in the PDF. Um, and let's go step by step of how to do this. Okay, by going step by step, I guess we should just create a full, create a project again. Uh, we're just repeating this so you can get the idea again of how this should work. Uh, let's just go test run two because I already have a test run file. Uh, select all uh, just to be sure and safe. So we have everything in our plugins. Um, again, it will take a minute. Uh, we can keep all these uh, panels open. Uh, they don't need to be closed. Um, but okay, cool. So we have now our new test run. Everything's set to blank. If I start, I can't start a simulation because no test run is loaded. So let's open and let's go to handling course. This is the course that was mentioned in the PDF. And we'll click OK. Again, let's look at the vehicle. Demo car, wonderful. Let's look at the road. A uh, bit different again compared to this uh, road here. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's click start. And sure, uh, why don't we uh, look at some of the acceleration of the car as well. So, uh, we can see here that it is uh, doing, moving well. Um, and uh, 
You can see our graph is showing a very steady uh, change in acceleration of the x-axis and something's happening here at the breaking at the y-axis and the z-axis and on the z-axis nothing's really happening. Okay, yeah, and uh, I think that's everything for uh, IPG and how to just get started. Um, a few other things I would like to go over is basically you can also go into car here in parameters and you can go and look at every single thing in a vehicle, the vehicle data set every single thing and it's the volumetric uh, metric, the metrics of it, the mass uh, you can go into the body and each different model, vehicle model you pick will have a different body and different vehicle mass and the engine mount, suspensions the powertrain is something that's very important this will show the drive source the torque, fuel consumption if you can change your car to an actual electric vehicle uh, so power supply this is a way of creating a control system in IPG car maker uh, it is possible to do this but we do recommend that you use MATLAB or Simulink to get going because um, it's more general software that everyone knows and something that is more uh, transferable skill wise to other uh, uh, projects so we do recommend using that instead um, I'll be going over some of that in another video okay um, next thing uh, probably hopefully the last thing in this tutorial we'll also want to go over this uh, quick start video so we just went over running example running simulation and animation the uh, IPG like you can make some great shots and stuff but that's not really what we want to look at uh, creating your first test run this is basically what we did today in our video um, they will go over different things like here uh, they build their own road you do not need to do this. Um, if you're focusing on modeling a car or the control system of the car or the engine, you don't need to look and make a road. Just use the roads that are available. Um, again, yeah, so if, again, a test road, and then if you road network, again, you don't need to do this. Um, but then vehicle model prioritization, this is what I think is important. Vehicle data set, uh, this is where you can actually may need to change things, and you can, and this is where you actually might need to look at the reference manual. The reference manual is also an extremely important guide, but it's a lot more complicated. You need to get very used to this this uh, book, uh, know it pretty well. Uh, and um, and this this version is 8.1.1. Uh, I think we've already shown you in the previous video, but how you can get other manuals, they're just right here in the help button. And so if you go to Quick Start Guide, it opens up and it gets the exact model and version that we have here. So it gets to 8.1.1, and we have that here as well. So um, very quick and easy. It's it's all you can see it here. It's all in our docs in this folder here. Um, and speaking of that as well, uh, so if you ever want to just like look for all your documentation, um, you just go to yeah, C drive, IPG, car maker, yeah, and docs. And here's where all the doc documentation you have for. Um, everything you need. A programmer's guide, the reference manual. Uh, we generally recommend just using these. You don't need to worry about the rest. And um, yeah, uh, installation guide. I would follow our one is a little bit simpler. And um, these are some of the files that you'll need for um, working in IPG. You mainly just use the reference manual, their user guide, and the quick start guide. Um, I think they are the things that'll help you initially, at the beginning. And, um, and honestly, the reference manual is something that you'll need for anything that you don't understand in IPG. Yeah, okay. So, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, uh, you can see IPG Car Maker is actually fun as long as you can get it working. And this video is to get you started in doing that. Um, I think it's a good quick start guide and uh, hope it has helped you so far. The next video will be run by other members and they'll be going deeper into IPG and how to use it. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a nice day.